Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and as you probably know by now Apple has released the first beta of iOS 13.4. This is one of the bigger updates that Apple has brought to iOS 13 bringing quite a lot of new features. Now, personally, I was surprised. I expected Apple to release quite a new features with iOS 13.4, but I didn't expect them to add these much features to iOS 13.4 since it's quite a long way down the road of iOS 13 and we're just a few months away from the release of the first beta of iOS 14. But again, Apple has added quite a lot of new features to iOS 13 with the first beta of iOS 13.4 and I expect them to add even more with the next few betas because I expect this update to go through at least five, maybe six betas before it gets released to the public. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the new features and changes of iOS 13.4. And we're going to take a look at 20 new features and changes of iOS 13.4. So let's get started. Starting off with a new Siri command that has been added to iOS 13.4. That command will allow you to go to your home screen from wherever you're on your device. So you can, of course, open Siri using the button or you can go ahead and just say, hey Siri, and then use the command. So go to home screen. That's the new command that allows Siri to go to the home screen. So from wherever you're on your device, ask Siri to go to the home screen. And now with iOS 13.4, it will be able to do that. Now, previously with previous iOS versions, if you would have done that, it would just say like swipe up to go to home screen or something like that. It wouldn't take you to the home screen. There is also another Siri change. So if you go to settings, go to accessibility and then go to Siri, you will find here always listen for Hey Siri. Now, what this does is that it will keep Hey Siri activated even if your iPhone is covered or facing down. So with Hey Siri enabled, it won't work if you have your iPhone facing down or covered. But if you wanted that to happen, you want to always be able to invoke Siri using the Hey Siri command, go ahead and enable this new option. There are now new Memoji stickers. Uh, Apple, of course, is going hard on Memoji and Memoji stickers. And now you will have like nine new ones. You will have like these, like the celebrating one, the angry one, the one with the hearts on the face. And we have some other ones like this one with crossed arms. You have this one with the MacBook right there. So there are like nine ones that are new that have been added to iOS 13.4. A very welcome change is, of course, the ability to share folders via iCloud. Now, this is a new feature that will be on iOS starting iOS 13.4. So shared folders on iCloud. So you're on your files app. You're on your drive right here. You just go ahead, 3D touch on one of the folders. And now you will have an option to actually share that folder. Now, if you want to share the folder, just tap right here. And you will get, of course, all the options that you get to basically share the folder with anyone you want, just like you do with like other stuff that you can share. You can now share iCloud folders starting from iOS 13.4. A very welcome change on the mail app as well. The toolbar has been fixed. It used to be just the delete button and the reply button that used to be here on the right side. Now you will have four buttons. So you will have two extra ones. You have the folder ones, which allows you to basically move this message to any of the folders that you have or the flag one, which allows you, of course, to flag your emails. Now, when you tap that, it will also show you this menu that allows you to change the color of the flag. So from here, you can change the color of the flag to any color that you want. With iOS 13.4, when you're on a third party app and you want to add something to the reading list, now you will get a pop up. So if you go right here, you can see add to reading list. Now it will ask you, so it will show this pop up that will ask for your permission if you want to allow that app to add a link to the reading list. So you can see right here, add youtube.com to the reading list, and you can go ahead and choose add right there to enable this feature for this app. On the shortcuts app, now you will have the ability to create a Shazam shortcut, even if you don't have the app installed, the Shazam app installed on your iPhone. So just go ahead and tap the plus button, search for Shazam right here, 
So you can see Shazam it right there. You can go ahead and create this shortcut that will of course allow you to basically recognize songs using this shortcut without having Shazam installed on your iPhone. On iOS 13.4, Apple has added the status bar on the control center of smaller devices. Now you can see my iPhone 11 Pro right here has the status bar on the control center. This one right here, the SE, this is on iOS 13.3 and it doesn't have the status bar there. So if you update your iPhone, basically all the iPhones with a home button, you update them to iOS 13.4, then you will get the same status bar on the control center as you get on devices with a notch, on devices without a notch as well. On your iPhone, when you enable the VPN, you will see an animation right there that shows a VPN logo once you have enabled the VPN on your iPhone. With iOS 13.4, you will also see an animation and a logo right there when you disable this. So you can see disable VPN and you see that VPN logo and you see like that line right there that shows you that VPN has been disabled. On the Apple Music app, when you're playing music, and you go to the lyrics, you can see those three dots right there. Now, what that is, is that when you have a song playing and it has like an instrumental at this beginning of the song, so there is no text, no lyrics, just the music playing, then you will see those three dots right there at the beginning of the song. So basically, that's new to iOS 13.4. Also, if you tap right here, it will show you playing next instead of up, up next which has been before with iOS 13 up to iOS 13.3.1 now you will have playing next instead of up next when you go to the up next section on the music app. When you're on Safari with iOS 13.4 and you 3D touch on a link, you will get like, of course, the 3D touch menu and there is a new option that says open right there. So you used to have just these ones, now you have that other one that says open. So basically what it does is that it will just open that link that you 3D touch on the same tab. On the measure app, if you 3D touch on the icon, you will see that the two first, like the measure and the level icons have been redesigned. Also, when you open the app, you will see an animation that you get this animation right here. Now it used to be just left and right and now it will also, also show it vertically. So that animation has been changed as well with iOS 13.4. On the health app, if you go to the browse section and you go ahead and scroll all the way down, you will have the ability now to add an account. So you will find here a button that says add account and you can go ahead and add a new account directly from here. And here I have some more changes that I've found on iOS beta on Reddit. So a few users there have posted changes that they have found with iOS 13.4. This one for the Apple TV controller, you can see the play and pause button right there is now a bit bolder. And something really, really interesting that has been found within iOS 13.4 is a feature called Core Key. So what that will do is basically it's a built-in feature that will support unlocking, driving and sharing NFC car keys. So basically this will turn your iPhone into a car key. So you will be able to use your iPhone or the Apple Watch to unlock, lock and also start your car. So that will be really, really amazing. So can't wait to see this feature coming to iOS. Hopefully it will come with iOS 13.4. There are also a ton of new changes on the CarPlay. I got this from iOS beta on Reddit. So you will find now two like two different phone cards, a smaller one and a bigger one as well with the CarPlay on iOS 13.4. So you can see the bigger one here and the smaller one right here. So you will have like two different options which you can use with CarPlay with iOS 13.4. And also with CarPlay on iOS 13.4, you will get a new splash screen the first time you share an ETA with the maps, of course, with iOS 13.4 and CarPlay. So this is how it looks. Again, I got this as well from iOS beta on Reddit. And another change with CarPlay that I cannot show you right now is that now Apple will allow third-party navigation apps to be shown on the main page. So you don't have to have just the Apple Maps app there. You can have also third-party navigation apps 
on the main page on your CarPlay. And that's of course really, really good and very welcome feature to see with iOS 13.4. So that is it for this video guys, this is iOS 13.4 and these are the new features that are coming to iOS 13.4. Of course, these are 20 features that can be found with beta 1 of iOS 13.4 and it looks like Apple is focusing a lot on features with iOS 13.4. Hopefully on beta 2 we will see a lot of more features as well. So really excited to see all these new changes and features with iOS 13.4 even though iOS 13 is quite a long way down the road of course iOS 14 is coming on the first beta in just a few months so again thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like if you did also if you want to see more videos on iOS 13.4 of course the new betas that will come out make sure you subscribe and don't forget to leave a like on this one and I will see you guys on the next one